Hey everybody, real quick, we are introducing a phone system with a dialer combination of both. Phone system just like Ring Central or any of your uh, current uh, VoIP providers, as well as built in dialer functionality for sales, marketing, servicing, etc. Uh, the very first thing that you, which as you're going to see on my screen, is a list of people that have been put into the dialer based on certain rules that are defined by the agency. And I have Demeter here with me to tell us what what are some of the common rules and reasons why people are placing um, prospects and insureds, for that matter, into the dialer. Yeah, so um, there can be many different cases. For example, um, you have a prospects list. You have uh, 500 people that need to be called today. Um, and you can also use it for existing customers. You can use it to um, dial your renewal list for September, let's say. So the applications are many. Uh, as long as it has to do with reaching out to customers or prospects, uh, this dialer system can be utilized. So what I'm seeing a couple of things here. The, I'm seeing that this is also based on a workflow and based on a specific uh, assigned agent or CSR. Um, I'm guessing that it's not necessarily that a, a one person should be doing all the dialing. It could be distributed among many people yeah. right yeah absolutely absolutely so, so um every agent can have their own assigned list of contacts so when they start dialing they can just select themselves from the drop down um and then only dial their own contacts unless uh, they need to dial a larger group of people uh, regardless of assigned users uh, right. and also uh the workflow filter uh thanks for mentioning that that's uh, very useful as well because uh, as we mentioned, you can have different uh, dialer processes for new business, for renewals, for cancellations. So you can filter based on that as well. So you can filter based on various business functions as well as the person that, that is actually doing the dialing. So it could be a CSR calling uh, on pending cancels, could be an agent calling on prospects. Um, and, yeah. and, and now all of that happens automatically. They come in the morning. Just what do they have to do? Just click on the let's start button, right? Just this button right here on yeah, the top. Yeah, absolutely. Platform. And it just starts dialing uh, every contact based on the filters one by one. One by one, right? So th then in that case, let's go to the next screen real quick. Tell me a little bit about this, Mitko, because this is an important part of the dialer. So when you're dialing a person, I'm going to go back and forth a little bit here, but when we are dialing a person, sometimes agencies like to have control of what is being said on that specific call, whether that be a sales call or a service call, certain control could be asserted by creating scripts. And and we, here's an example of how an agency can create multiple scripts, right? Yes. So this is just a simple example funnel uh, that we're showing here. Basically, every agency will have their own scripts that they use. And to, to make it easy for the caller to read these scripts, uh, we put them on the contact, directly on the contact, directly in the system. So they don't have to switch tabs or uh, you know, look at their own nodes or anything of that sort. It's right there as they're doing the, the call, as they're making the call. Uh, they can read the script at the same time. And now here comes the question, which is which is really important because this is this is actually next level. So what if I have one script that is for pending cancels and, and yet different script for renewals? So those are two different processes, two different workflows. Uh, what happens then? Is the, is is the can I have two different ones and then they're yeah. displayed based on or based on what I, what 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 is the purpose of the call? Yes. So depending on what workflow the contact is in, a different script can populate. So in this case, we're just seeing uh, two uh, scripts here on 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 our screen, but there can be ten scripts, uh, hypothetically speaking. So depending on uh, what the call is about, essentially, a different script can show up. 
OK, excellent. So here's how it how that looks. And obviously this is an example of a script, but this is what the script would look like. Here, the dialer starts working. Uh, this person is being called. And here is the here's an example of what the script could look like. Uh, it could be longer, it could be shorter, it could be various verbiage, but that script, as you mentioned, changes based on the workflow. So if it is, if this person is in, in my pending cancel list, then the script will be of certain words. And, and if it's it's if it's prospecting, then it will be of, of, of different type. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. OK, great. So this happens and unfortunately, many times the um, disposition of the call will be no answer or busy or left a voicemail or hopefully completed the call. But here is a here's a, the next pop up that, that I'm coming up with. Now, the agent or CSR is making the call and there's no answer. Here comes that pop up and that's called the disposition. What happens if there is no answer? What could happen actually if there is no answer? Yeah, so th that's a very important part of the dollar actually, and maybe the most important one. Um, it is very important for the agents to mark uh, the status of the call correctly because certain automations can be linked to each of these options. So if it's a no answer, uh, like you said, we can set up a workflow to automatically send an SMS like, um, hello, Michael, I tried reaching out to you about your commercial auto insurance policy, for example, or, uh, whatever, whatever you want to say in that SMS message. Um, so yeah, it is very important for the agent to mark these uh, options here correctly for that reason, for the automations and also for the reporting, because at the end of the day, um, their manager will want to have a look at how many calls were made, how many of these calls were uh, with status no answer, how many were completed, and so on. So in that case, uh, an agent or a CSR doesn't have to write it down on a piece of paper. Hey, do you know what? I didn't. Uh, this person, I, I couldn't get a hold of him. Yeah, I'm going to call him again exactly. tomorrow. All they have to do is click on the disposition, and based on a predefined rule, it will go back to the dialer on the following day to be called again, either by the same CSR or a different one, depending on once again internal agency rules. And and then another thing you mentioned, an SMS is being sent. That is that is very important. So you can get a hold of someone immediately, automatically. You don't even have to think about it. Predefined SMS goes out. Hey, here is a, I, I tried reaching you. I'm gonna try. I will try again tomorrow. That is letting them know or to expect the call again the following day. And, 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 and statistics show that that SMS is vital to um, the success of the, the following day's call. Yep. So that's on the disposition part really quick. Um, then um, I'm going to move on to something else here. And that is a specific, uh, obviously a sample one, but it is a dialer uh, pipeline and it has several stages as we can see. Uh, we have the list of those that need to be called, those that have been completed, uh, maybe additional information is needed, perhaps quote is received, proposal is sent and so on and so forth. Now these are obviously example ones. Um, and, and, and how do, how do, how does this happen? And can can the, can can prospects end up in in the various pipelines and stages automatically based on the disposition, for example? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's a very good question. That can happen. So if the call disposition is busy, let's say, or no answer, the uh, card can automatically move to another stage. There can be a separate stage here that says, uh, uh, for example, more information is uh, needed, could, could not reach customer. So in that case, this is just an example and an agency can really have their own pipeline with their own stages yeah. in the way they want it, right? Okay. 
and uh, and and this is a it, because we are talking about this as a bit uh, um, getting a little more technical, a little bit more complex. Uh, who sets all of that up, by the way, based on the agency's specific uh, business needs? Yeah, well, uh, based on the input from uh, the company, the agency, we would be the ones who set that up. Okay, so the agency will receive a full set phone system and dialer ready to go based on their specific business needs. We do all the technical work. Yeah, yeah, and the automations behind all of that, yeah. And the automations behind all of that. Excellent. And uh, here's what the phone itself looks like. I mean, everyone has seen a phone, but that's what it is. I just wanted to ask something. So I see several buttons. So you can transfer a call, you can uh, warm transfer, you can just blind transfer, obviously, to someone else. Uh, you can make a call to outbound call, you can receive a call. You can do this on the, on the desktop application, but you can also do it on the mobile application. Now, what about something else that every phone system has, which is very important? Someone is calling you and press one for billing, press two for new quote, press three for Mary and four for Stacy, whatever the, the case yeah, may be. Yeah, so an IVR. Is that available? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So it is a full uh, set uh, phone system with capability of not only using it as a dialer, but you can use it as a as an actual phone system in the office. On top of the fact that it can send automatic SMSs, can it send mass SMS? Can I just SMS everyone in my list? Yeah, yeah, you can select all of your contacts regardless of how many there are and just send an SMS to all of them. Of course, all if right. you're talking about a large number of contacts, 20,000, then uh, obviously we wouldn't send it all at once, we would have to drip it, but yes, it is possible. Great, so this is actually a distinguishing factor in between any other phone system, whatever whatever VoIP system there is on the market, and this one, because it has all of that, warm transfer, uh, press one for this, press for, two for that, whatever the case might be, dialing out, dialing, uh, receiving calls, yet capability to send SMS in mass quantities. No other system has that. This is very important. Not obviously typing each SMS on its own, but through automations and workflows to send the SMSs out. All right, enough on that. And and here I have a list of numbers. So this, this is where things get interesting. What if an agency has, let's say, and we've had this case by so by the way recently, um, that's why I'm mentioning it. Uh, multiple phone numbers are needed sometimes because let's say an agency has multiple offices in various states. In fact, we had one recently that had agents in every state and not only one, but multiple agents in every state. Um, what happens in that case? Is that possible? Can 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 that automation be made so that agent John, who has license in uh, Georgia and Tennessee, is assigned specific number and and obviously the automations work in certain way that um, he is assigned leads only in those states. Yes, yes, uh, that is possible. Uh, and I remember the example you, you mentioned. Um, yeah, absolutely. So we can buy a number or multiple numbers for each state and then assign specific agents to these numbers so that when they're making calls, uh, let's say it's uh, they're calling somebody in Florida, uh, we would want the caller ID to be a Florida number. Uh, otherwise, mm -hmm. the pickup rate will be much lower. Nice, that's very nice. And um, so basically an agency can have one, two, three, four, five, as many phone numbers as they wish. And I see something here, forwarding number, but we'll get to that in just a moment. Um, we're going to explain this in a little bit further detail how that, that works. Let's move on here. So messaging analytics, this is an interesting one. Um, tell me a little bit more about this report. 
um, that we see here, Dimitar. I see that uh, how many have been sent, how many have been delivered, how many have been uh, answered, whatever the case may be. Uh, how is this beneficial to an agency? Well, it's uh, it's very beneficial in in a uh, in a sense that the agency owner can at any time just go into the account and look at how many SMS are being sent out and how many are being delivered. So in this case, we see a high number of undelivered SMS. So this can be an issue with their phone number. It can be an issue with uh, the people they're sending these SMS to. So this is very useful for that reason. You yeah, can see uh, that. Yeah, an overview of uh, how your messages are you know, doing, essentially. So what I have seen in many cases, and this is a great report for that, Dimitar, is um, I have seen people buy leads and uh, let's say they get 50, 100, 200, whatever number of leads, it doesn't really matter. And and they're being sold leads with either fake phone numbers or incorrect phone numbers, let's put it that way. And this is an immediate indicator if an agency should continue to buy leads from that vendor or should be looking elsewhere. Because if there is such a, a high rate of um, error rate, I guess, then maybe that vendor is not a is not a good vendor. So this is a great indicator. Now let's move on to the next one, Cowmetrics. Uh, once again, another report that is available with uh, this whole uh, dialing system and the phone system. And uh, to, let's take a look at the, the details here. Uh, so these are automation calls versus manual calls, dialer calls, incoming calls, all of that right in the front of you. How many have been made um, over a period of time? Obviously, there are filters for one week, for two weeks, for a month, et cetera, et cetera. How many have been missed? I mean, uh, if you if you take a look at this, 145 missed calls. So total, uh, just that one little indicator, if I'm an agency owner, I would immediately be looking at my processes and my uh, internal staff to see what is happening here, right? How is it that I have had 220 incoming calls? Someone in my agency answered 57 of them and and we missed 145. What happened here? Why uh, do we not have enough staff? Are they busy on the phone? More than likely. Or some other internal issues? This is just one example of uh, of how that uh, report could be used. Um, average duration call is also uh, important too. As you can see, the average here is three minutes. Um, here is about that as well. Now, this the, these are important indicators. If if a call is coming in, and and then and then it's only lasting three minutes. It's either a good thing or a bad thing. Depends on depends on, on, on various things. If if you're talking about phone number that is for servicing, that would be a good thing. That means we are quickly being able to assist the customer. They need an ID card, they need to file a claim, they need a certificate, etc. That that to me is a good thing. If this is an inbound sales phone number for inbound for for quotes then you know what again i would be looking at what is going on with my staff why can we not keep the customer a little bit longer on the phone they have called us is three minutes and 46 seconds on average enough to collect all the information to get a quote i don't think so i mean maybe a little bit of training on communication a little bit more um attention to what is happening. We do have call recording as well. Perhaps the agency manager owner should be taking a look at that. So this is a great call matrix as well. Now, here's here's one more. Let's let's take a look at this one and dive a little bit further. Uh, I give you um, the mic, uh, um, Dimitar, real quick to, to tell us a little bit about what is the benefit of these two reports? Yeah, so um, 
this is very similar to the one we just looked at. Uh, it's a little uh, nicer presented, I guess, uh, with the uh, pie chart on the on the right side. But essentially, we have the call statuses again on the right side, and we have the percentage of answered calls, the percentage of cancelled, failed, busy, no answer. So these can be seen and filtered by date as well, which is very important when you're trying to get a monthly report or perhaps a weekly report. Um, and I see something out by, by number as you yeah, can see. Yeah, exactly. Right so you see? can uh, look at your Florida numbers, for example, then compare them to the numbers in uh, Alabama and see which states are doing how well, essentially. Or maybe your inbound call for servicing versus sales, uh, that type yep, of situation. Yep. Right? Absolutely, because you can have different numbers for sales, service, new business. Yeah. And on All the right. left side, uh, oh, go back. Yeah, so, go ahead. Because I, I kind of skipped that one. Uh, efficiency, this is a very useful tab that shows the total sale value, the average sales duration, and the uh, sales velocity, which is uh, a simple formula that takes uh, takes the time needed uh, to turn a lead, an open lead, into a one lead. So it takes the time uh, from prospect to insured, and this is your sales velocity. Mm. So again, a very useful stat. Very nice, very nice. Let's move on to the next one. Obviously, this is self-explanatory. We don't need to spend very, very much time on this one, but you do have a report that shows you your top agents. Um, it's you have a filter on 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 various periods. You have a filter on 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 specific numbers on specific agents, and and here's one that uh, tells you uh, who is performing and who is not, and uh, certain decisions can be made based on that. All right, so we go to the next report based on our phone system slash dialer. And uh, that has to do with uh, both the opportunity stages, the SMSs, the emails, the conversions, etc. Um, once again, many, many things can be said about this, but let's take a look at uh, what is um, what is happening here. Um, I'm taking a look at the total leads for that period of time, 328. Uh, we still have 226 that are open. <laughs> we abandoned 90. I have no idea why. Uh, and then we we actually made out of 328 for that period of time, we sold to five people and we lost seven. I mean, this to me, is immediate indication of what is happening in my agency, in my opinion. Um, that is, uh, to buy that many leads, that's quite a few leads, right? 328 is the lead, and and then we haven't yet started working on on them. I guess 228, 226 are still open, so we're not really doing very much on 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 calling them, but we have abandoned 90 quite quickly. Uh, why? I would be asking why. Why? What's happening? Are they not interested? Are we not able to? Is it a, a language barrier? Is it some other reason for that? What is happening here? And who are the ones that we lost? That's also important. And uh, we have uh, we have the metrics here for SMS as well, for email, if search were so sent, for sold and unsold uh, conversions. Now, what am I looking at here, Dimitar? Tell me a little bit more about this. Oh, well, uh, these are the settings for the phone number, uh, each phone number. So each uh, phone number can have its own different settings. On the left side, it's the caller ID. So instead of uh, showing the number you have uh, purchased for Florida, let's say, you want to show a different number, your main number for your Florida office, which is going to be your new caller ID. So this is very mm -hmm. useful. It's masking your caller ID, making it seem as if you're calling from a different number. 
And on the right side, we can see uh, a more granular view of all the settings, well, at least most of them, uh, regarding your uh, phone numbers. You have the uh, verified caller ID, which we mentioned, uh, call connect feature, which is uh, prompting the uh, user to press a button to connect the call. Uh, there's also an option to include a whisper message to your call, call recording, which is very important for uh, uh, keeping track of uh, all customer interactions. Uh, and also, of course, incoming call timeout, outgoing call timeout. And the setting at the bottom is also very useful. It can be set to ring to multiple users at once. So mm -hmm. it doesn't have to depend on one user being available. For example, they can be out on a lunch break, they can, they can be busy on another call. It can ring to multiple users at the same time. I wanted to mention a couple of things. This is a distinguish, distinguishing feature of this phone system versus any other phone system. Now, I ha we, you have a phone system that you can mask your caller ID with yet a different phone number, whether that be your cell phone or your main office number, as Dimitri mentioned earlier, which is, which is fantastic. That is great if you want to do so. It is not necessary, but if you did want to brand or if your phone number is well known and, and, and you prefer it that way, you can mask the phone number with a different phone number. So the color ID would say something else, would show something different. This is this is fantastic. And one more thing that I wanted to mention here with the dial within the dialer system. So there are two ways of, of setting up the dialer. One is as, a, as we demonstrated earlier, where the person comes in and clicks on the let's call button and uh, one by one all of the leads or customers are being called. Second is the system to actually start dialing them automatically and not and, and only those that answer are being connected to the agent. So the system keeps on. So let, let's say you have 500 people to call today. Instead of sitting and waiting on those calls to be dialed one by one, which which is not that difficult, but still it would be even better, which some people have chosen that option, only when someone has answered the call, the agent is notified and starts the conversation. That's also a capability and uh, availability here within the settings and the phone system, Not ever, depending on the business case, obviously. Uh, that's, a, that's a preference. And what am I looking at here? This is a this is a nice one, an interesting one. So uh, because I see one more feature that is quite quite unique here, because you can actually show your business name as a caller ID. Not only that you can show your different phone number as a caller ID, you can show your business name as a caller ID. Um, the call pickup rate perhaps will be higher, and that is possible because we are a2p compliant um, both on the messaging part and the dialing part and that happens through the registration here within uh, the screen as i'm showing you uh, on the right hand side and i believe that uh, that pretty much uh, concludes the uh, presentation of our dialer slash phone system all right, so the way to people to, to get a hold of us is just simply uh, reply to this email that you're interested or um, within uh, now certs on the left hand side, uh, there is a, a button that is called automate is in it's in orange. You're able to click on that and you can get a hold of us that way. And keep in mind, we do all the work, we do all the setup, we do all of that. And the monthly cost is is minimal, really, for 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 such a system. Um, we have done it for several agencies now, and had not complaints. People are loving it, and it's working great. So, if you have any questions, get a hold of us. Let us know, and we'll get this uh, set up for your agency. Thanks for your time, and speak on the next one.